hi and welcome to my latest video this is where basically i'm just going to show you a few modifications you can do to your ic's to sort of correct signal problems etc i basically what i can do on this one these two traces are going to the wrong pins so what i'll do in sort of one little video i'll lift up the pins and basically take that pin to that trace sort of swap these two over i'll also sort of be lifting up a pin on another sort of ic and uh, putting a resistor between pad and pin to correct the signal going into the IC on that one. Yeah, there'll be other few other little cases where I'll show you sort of some wiring across the top of ICs. I'll also show you how you can cut a trace going into a pin. So, so for instance, you cut that trace, that pin might be joined to a wire underneath. So literally you'll just be disabling the pad from the wire underneath. So sort of wire goes straight from the pin to the, the trace. So yeah, that's what I'll do in this video. Just show you a few examples. So what I'll do straight away, I'll get into example one. Where I'm just going to literally lift these two up and transpose the signal going from one to the other. So what we do, we get straight into that one. Right, so for the first stage of the modification work, what I'm going to do on this device, I've got the trace going into that pin there and the trace going into that pin there. And they were actually sort of traced out wrong by the designer. That trace should be to that pin and this trace should be to this pin. So literally I'm going to lift both pins up and put a Kynar link from that pin for instance over to this trace and that will literally make the traces go into the right pins and make the IC work correctly. So the best way to do this is first of all just add a little bit of flux onto the two you want to lift up and it's quite a simple job this. All you do you can get I just put my tweezers one sort of leg of the tweezers behind the pin and just tweak it up. I normally tweak up about a millimetre. I do the same with this one. Just put your leg to a tweezer behind the leg just lift it up about a millimetre and then what I do then I get my solder wick I literally just wick out the solder on that joint to isolate the pin in the air and then what you can do then you can get your tweezers behind the pin again and just tweak it up I normally like the pins to come out sort of level with the body I don't like to go beyond that because if you want to put them back down you can so that's, that's the first stage of uh, correcting these traces, just lifting the pins up. Right, so we come to the stage now where I'm just going to put the first sort of link correcting this IC into place. So I'm literally going to go from the pad down the bottom there up to this pin up here. And that will then mean this trace here is going up to the correct pin. So what you want to do first, just add a little bit of fresh flux onto the pad you're sort of doing. So basically, yeah, just a little bit of fresh flux in there. I'm going to preload your iron for this one. I've already pre-stripped my Kynar, otherwise you're basically going to need free hands to do this. And try and keep the joint as far at the back as you can. That way, when you put the second wire on, it just make that a lot easier. So basically then what I do, I'll bring that wire around there. Just push it to the back. So what I've done with this little wire, as you'll see, I've put a little score on the top. So that way I can just tweak this wire and it's going to break in the right place. That way I've got no stress on the pin at all. So basically push that to the back. All you need then is put a little bit of solder on the top and that's going to basically complete your first wire. So yeah, just a little bit of flux on the top. You've got to be really quick with this bit. Otherwise the sort of first joint's going to sort of move down the bottom. So basically preload drying, just be really quick. There you go. So you've got a nice joint up the top. So you've got, yeah, you've got a nice joint up there. Basically you've got a nice joint down the bottom as well. And that's basically corrected. That's now going to the correct pin. So what I'll do, I'll clean all that up and then we repeat the process for, for wire two. Right, so this is where we come to the second kind of wire. So literally I've already got it into place. I've pre-cut sort of it to length and stripped strip the sleeve in so basically otherwise you're going to need free hands so what I do preload my iron now quickly go in to do the joint at the top that secures that pin so that's now I've got the pin in sort of perfect place so what I do just tweak that bottom over slightly just so it's on the pad and what you can do you've got a little bit of flux at the bottom you've got to do this really quick otherwise the sort of first end is going to melt I know it's probably quite difficult to see on the video, but what I'll do, I'll clean it all up and put a few pictures up after. So what I'll do then, going to quickly down to the bottom, 
Let's move slightly to what I do, I'll redo the top slightly. So that's now got that into perfect place. So what I do, so like I say, I clean it all up, put some photos up, and then we move on to sort of a, another operation of lifting a sort of pin and cutting a trace and wiring down. And uh, I'll explain all that when I get to it. Right, this is a stage where basically I'm just going to show you quickly how I cut a trace. Uh, this is just an, another scrap board, but it's easy for me to show you on this one how I cut the trace. And then what I do, I move on to the board with an IC on it, and uh, I'll show you how I could dis can disable the pad and take the sort of pin to the other side of the, the trace where I'm going to cut. So what I'm going to do first, this is how I normally cut my trace. I will normally score along where I want the sort of cut to finish. That way the the trace or the pad in this case will never go beyond that point. And then yeah, literally about a millimetre or 1.5, just score across there. And what I do, I'll try and angle my knife about 45 degrees and basically lift that up. So you just you've got to be careful because if you've got a multi-layer board, you obviously don't want to go too far down because you've got the other layer just below. I've got my other hand sort of stopping the knife slipping. Literally you'll notice it, it's just lifting up and you can sort of roll it up like a carpet. So there you go, you can just flick that up and just, if you just tweak that end about, that will just get rid of the, the little bit of trace. And then normally I'll just sort of tidy this end up. I'll turn the bottom round normally and do this from the other end. So just get rid of that little bit there and that's, so there you go, you've got a nice little cut with no scratches or damage either side, and that's literally how I cut my traces. Right, so as you can see, what I've done here, I've sort of pre-cut the trace to this IC, to the pit to pad down the bottom, as in what I sort of just showed you in the other video. I've also sort of scraped back about a millimetre of trace and sort of already tinned it. And uh, yeah, I've lit, what I've done, I've lifted the pin, as in the same way as we did earlier. I've also tinned that. So what we do now, we're ready to basically connect a little kynar from the trace up to the pin. And the reason for doing this sort of operation, that pad underneath the IC might be going to a wire. And you literally just want to sort of disable the wire from the pad. So this is a way of doing it. That's what you do. So I've already pre-stripped and got my kynar wire ready. Just tack it onto the bottom. Put a little bit more flux on that one. So yeah, this is a pretty good way of doing it. Literally just put a little bit more on the bottom there. That's better. So what you do then, push the wire into place. I've already pre-scored the wire again, so just to make it easier to break. Just sort of wiggle that about. That's gonna break in the right place. And then what we're gonna do then is solder up the top. So this is quite a common fix I've had to do. This basically takes the trace to the pin without joining the wire underneath. So we do pre-load drying again for the second joint. We'll do this pretty quick. And there you go, you've got a joint, nice joint top and bottom. So that and that is di literally disabling that pad from the wire underneath. So it's a trace straight up to the top of the pin. So that's you know that's how you do that operation. So in this part of the video of correcting your ICs, this is one where I'm just going to take basically pin 6, I'm just going to lift the pin as I did before, but this time I'm just going to lift the pin slightly higher than centre because I need to get a resistor from the pad up to the top, sort of top of the pin, uh, basically correcting the signal from, and that will correct the signal from the trace to the pin on this particular IC. So the first thing to do is get your fresh flux, so you can't really do this without flux, I've used flux on pretty much all my soldering. Then what you do, again, put your tweezers behind the leg. And what you're going to do is raise it, say about a millimetre or so. 
and then you can literally just get your solder wick just wick off what's left and that will expose the pin leaving it sort of floating in the air and then this is where you can basically tweak it to the height you need so again this one I'm just going to take it just above centre just get me to use this different angle this is probably the best way that I always lift my pins so what I do I'll get my 603 resistor and I'll sort of judge the height and then uh, we're going to the next stage right so as you can see what I've done I've lifted the pin to suit the resistor so I've already put the resistor in place so what I need to do now is put a little bit of flux on the top joint while holding that resistor it's a little bit fiddly this but we'll try and get there so yeah just hold the resistor just put a little bit of flux in place so I've already tinned my, tinned my iron what you want to do first is keeping it in the right place just tack the top joint so you've got a nice joint on the top of the resistor up there so what I'm going to do now put a, basically get a nice little fillet down the bottom and then that will complete the operation for sort of putting the resistor between pin and pin and pad so what you want to do now just say a little bit of flux down the bottom and then what you need to do really is sort of preload your iron with the amount you feel is probably the right sort of amount for this little operation and so you've got to be pretty quick on this otherwise like I always say the top's going to melt so there you go you've got a nice little fillet around the bottom so that's yeah that's pretty much completed that so you've now got a raised pin got a nice fillet there and a nice fillet up the top and, that, and that's basically corrected the IC signal for pin 6 so what I'll do I'll clean this up like I always do and put a few photos up and then I'll sort of show you how I do my wiring across the top of an IC So this is where I've come to the final part of the video. This is where basically what I've done on this one, I've lifted up four pins on the bottom row. I've taken them to various points around the ICs. This is basically to correct any pin out issues you've got sort of across the ICs. So yeah, literally this is what you can do. To take it anywhere, you can also cross the wires over because it's all sleeved. And if you feel like you need to, you can put tack pack glue over them to keep them down. So that's basically a final option. So all you do, you lift the pins the same way as earlier in the video. And uh, yeah, what you do, you just take them to the points they need to go to, leaving them pins down, obviously, and that will correct your pin out issues. So the only thing I haven't shown in these videos is basically if you've got a broken pin, how to sort of fix them. But as I've done another video earlier in my postings on that, I didn't feel the need to, to show you that again. So um, yeah, hopefully you found everything else you need to know, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.